Hey, how's it going? It's Brennan here. If I get a little excited in some of my videos, it's because I am doing some fundamental science and I need a lot of rest and support. I need uh, funding. Okay, it's fundamental to doing good science. Um, I'd like to propose a national, and indeed international, but nationally sponsored timeline. I know that uh, social media, Facebook, uses the word timeline as though it were a Happy Meal. And it doesn't mean anything. A timeline is a line with a bunch of dates on it and a bunch of uh, incidents that happen. And within these incidents, you can say more and more, you know, in, if you click, there's, there should be infinite uh, actual events that happened. Okay, and this is fundamental to, to solving our world problems. If you say timeline and you don't, and you mean Happy Meal or you mean some sort of like ambiguous uh, reality, then you're messing things up, okay? This is, you know, I think uh, like Happy Meal is though you're just selling something, but it's just toys, just trinkets, and it doesn't actually help us, it doesn't make us healthy, okay? Um, that's what a timeline would do. Will give us information about uh, people, places, um, who was there, you know, who said what, when, and you could really open this up. You could print out a tapestry, but on paper, so it's it could be reproduced and it could be quite elaborate and would be uh, a real work of um, of dynamic function. To be able to chart things out, to be able to, um, you know, maybe to order something like this, and but it, it really, it's um, it's an infinite thing. So you don't want to put infinite knowledge on just every chart because then you won't be able to search through it. So you, you, we want to sort of create one that is relevant. So maybe it's we're talking about technology. You know, who made the technology? What was their uh, experience in life? What was their parents' experience? You know, where do they live? Uh, what was their family structure? All these things that we can really actually predict what's going to happen that uh, is very important. It's utterly important so that we don't just have random people who just happen to have like a, a lucky statistic, a lucky family structure. I don't mean that they were white, but I mean that they have an older brother, a younger sister, or vice versa. Okay, and it's usually the big brother who doesn't survive, okay, because he, you know, uh, Jim Morrison and Donald Trump, both of their older, uh, well, Jim Morrison, the big brother, dies. J uh, Donald Trump's older uh, brother dies, okay, and um, Kurt Cobain, okay, quite uh, irresponsible behavior. But we can scientifically look at this and say, look, well, this guy was very close to where Microsoft was. Okay, and, and we can say, what's the most iconic uh, song of the 20th century? It might be Kurt Cobain. And we might say, well, are they using chemical weapons in the Middle East, or is it just the name of an album, Bleach? Okay, is it, you know, bleach, you know, that's the ultimate in ethnic cleansing, is bleaching it, you know. So, um, you know, the Twilight Saga, if you, you know, it's very, very complex. Okay, but George Washington, we can say was supposed to get out of there. Okay, so his geopolitical history, the timeline was supposed to uh, shift. It was supposed to, um, he was supposed to have an experience and he didn't have that. So we can say anyone who was in that thing. Anyways, it's complex. Uh, and without starting off with notes, lining up at the top of the thing there, um, Without starting off with complex data and facts, then we're, we're going to be in this uh, excited, sort of desperate situation. And this is what the school shootings are, are utter acts of utter desperation. You know, that is completely insane. And yet they, they go along with um, women's empowerment and social media. So we have these, but we don't have... Uh, the facts of what you know, what it, what the great inventors had, the most successful people had, and what the most desperate people had, the, you know, people who were doing rock and roll or dying of drugs and alcohol, you know, why are they even doing that in the first place and not having love? You know, because you can talk about love, but if it's just like some, you know, big big, big sisters billionaire clubs, I'll say that again, the big sister billionaires club okay so this is america a lot of 
billionaires have big sisters. Okay, is that an embarrassing fact? Maybe it is, okay, but um, what do you want? Do you want war? George Washington had a little sister. Jim Morrison, Donald Trump's big brother who died, had a little sister, okay? Donald Trump has a big sister. Okay, it's, it's fundamentally American, utterly, because uh, the cultural paradigm of America is one of uh, desperation, okay? We weren't, Columbus wasn't looking for a slave state, someplace that was so desperate and so geographically isolated that civilization uh, had yet to develop. So we're going through its developmental politics when we use technology to communicate when we're trading information, but it's not complete and scientifically balanced, okay? So not desperate, but absolutely positive. Uh, if that means uh, psychiatry, fine. If that means love, yes, that too, okay? And, um, and if that means technological freedom, absolutamente. Bravo, bravissimo, hey!